everybody, it's Angela, and I'm back with another process video. And this is going to be another one for Marissa's challenge. Uh, she's ma'am1016 on YouTube, and it's to use washi tape or tags or both. And the challenge is uh, hashtag scrap our stash 2015. If you want to look that up on Instagram, I don't have an Instagram account, so I'm just kind of doing it here on YouTube. And I had this crepe paper notes and things collection still on my desk. I did a uh, baby boy page with it last time using more of the teals and yellows. So I thought I'd go ahead and do a baby girl layout with it this time using more of the pinks and craft. And so I'm just getting this piece of paper. I'm going to use the craft as my border to uh, mount my layout on. And so I just save this. I don't actually use it on the layout, just the border, but that way I still have some of it to play with. And then I also love this pink um, kind of scalloped paper, and that's going to be my background. So I'm just going to go ahead and mount it onto this diagonal stripe right now. So then I know, you know, what real estate I have to work with. And you saw earlier there I had pulled out some little envelopes and those are some envelopes I got at Goodwill and I got a box of 500 of these little envelopes uh, for like $2.99. So I use them in my junk journals. I bind them into journals and stuff and I use them on scrapbook layouts just wherever I can because you know I've got 500 of them. So at first I'm thinking of just doing rows of two because having three across was a little bit crowded. So I was thinking of doing something like that and leaving some open spaces. And then I thought, oh heck, why not? I'll just go ahead and use three across and use nine of them on here. And then I'll have some of them open and some of them closed. And so this is a, a busier layout than what I normally do. So it's a little bit different for me. And so our challenge was to use the washi tape. I try to use tags later, but it doesn't actually work out, but I do use a lot of different washi on this. And I'm going through all my pinks and reds because I have that, you can kind of see on the right there, that little Jolie's embellishment pack. And I got that at, I think it was Joann's or Michael's on sale. And so I just wanted to try to use that whole pack of embellishment. So I'm kind of matching the reds and pinks of that embellishment pack to the washi tape that I'm pulling out. So I go through all my reds and pinks and just pull out ones that I like. And my thought process was that I was going to put some washi on each envelope just to give it some more color. And then I'm going to do some die cuts uh, right through the washi on the envelope. So you'll see that here in a minute. So I just start out and I'm overlapping a few and pulling in some of that red. And there were two of the tapes, that love one right there, and one other that I had never used before. So it was good to get those out and you know get some of it used. All the others I had used portions of in the past, but two of them I had not. Yeah, I think this arrow here was the other one I had never actually used before. So I go ahead and I'm layering these on here and I'm layering them all on the right hand side. And I realize here in a little bit, it's like, um, why don't you do some going off the left hand side? So I will, I think, pull one of those up and put my tape on the left hand side. I don't know. It's like you do something and I don't know, then you're on autopilot and you just keep doing the same thing. So. It, it took me just a little bit to, yeah, to realize what I was doing and change it up. So I also put this little tiny thin paper tape on there that has a little bit of gold because I'm going to try to use mostly gold accents because that kind of matches the craft paper better. Um, even though I think the Jolie's embellishments have a little bit of silver on them. So there you can see I was kind of pulling one up and now I'm going to put the tape back on it and um, put it on the other side just to change it up a little bit. 
So there I put more of that gold paper tape on there. And I don't think that I put it on all the envelopes, but I, th I think on most of them. So this was kind of fun, something a little different than what I normally do. And my camera battery will uh, run out on me at one point and then I'll have to go through with you what you miss, but it's not too much. So now I'm going through my die cuts because like I said, I want to die cut through these envelopes and um, I'm kind of making this Valentine themed, although I don't want it to be to say Valentine on it, but I want it to be kind of like little Valentine envelopes and little hearts and lots of pink and red. So I'm going through all my die cuts looking for ones that are small, small enough and that our little hearts are love themed. So a lot of these, that one says love, that's an artisan word. The purple ones are from Hot Off the Press. And then that's a Technique Tuesday that I hadn't cut out of the thing yet. So that was another one I hadn't used. I think all the other ones um, I had used. So yeah, that one I had not used before. And so there I went to my die cut sheen and cut them out. And then I'm saving the little pieces that came out um, to use as accents. And then um, that leaves a hole in my envelopes. And so I'm going to back those holes with some glitter paper here in a minute. But I'm just kind of popping out the insides, the interior cuts. And just kind of saving the good pieces. And then that one I just did love. That one doesn't have any washi tape on that one. So there are my envelopes. And then I go to find something to back all my um, evacuated spaces with. So I go into my specialty papers and I find this pink glitter paper, which I like. Um, but it was a pretty intense pink. I find that other gold, but it's kind of a greenish gold and it didn't really go so much with the craft. So I'm pretty sure I have a piece of gold glitter paper and then right there I find it. So I go back and forth. At first I thought I was going to use the gold and the pink and mix it up, but in the long run I just go with the gold. So here I am just cutting some pieces and I'm thinking to back some of them with the pink but eventually I just go completely with the gold and that pulls in that craft color from the border okay so that's going to be kind of my background places where I'm going to place my photos and then I do have these extra little cutouts that I can use as well. So now I'm going to go ahead and adhere all of my little envelopes. And like I said, some of them I'm leaving open and that's where I'm going to insert some photos and stuff. And then some of them will just be completely closed where I can do my journaling and my title. So I go ahead and place the two on each side and then I just center the middle one so that way everything's spaced properly. And then my camera battery gave out. You can see on my Jolie's pack I used pretty much everything off of that sheet. And um, they have a little bit of dimension to them. And then I also used some Recollections heart stickers. So here's where I think that I'm going to use these tags. And so these are pretty much, I had to really search, um, mostly I have just shipping tags. And so these are all my decorative tags and I don't really have a lot. I use them quite a bit when I um, make junk journals and bind them into the junk journal. So I do use my tags pretty good. So I like the colors of these tags and I like the idea of the tags, but I want my pictures to be seen. I don't want them to be completely tucked into the envelope. And you can see here, if I put it on the tag, it hides too much of the photo or I have to pull it up too high out of the photo and then the tag is too big. So you'll see here what I do instead. Um, I 
decide to just mat the photos and not put them on tags. So I go back into the notes and things collection pack looking for uh, different papers I can mat my photos on. And I find this cut apart sheet. It has some really pretty pinks and stuff on it. So I decide to cut out a few of the pink tags on there and use those for backgrounds because I really don't want to introduce any more colors because this is busy enough as it is. So I'm just cutting out this kind of library card and this pink card. And then there's this one little tiny card. And then that paper had yellow in it, so I decided not to use that. And so I start out with these cards. And then these are all little pictures of Allison, Allison and her daddy, and Allison and her cousin Mason. So I'm just kind of figuring out what picture I'm going to put where. And I kind of like that upper right hand one, not really mounted on a photo, but just, or mounted on a mat, but just kind of offset from the mat. And I'm still trying to fit that tag in there, but it just, the tags just aren't working. But I go ahead and I trim this one down and I go ahead and map my photo on it. And then this one I'm going to let overlap on the envelope above it because that envelope above is where I'm going to put my journaling. So there's not going to be anything else on it. So it has room to overlap. So I go ahead and I commit to that one. I just overlap that up there. And then I like that one just kind of offset from that little tag. So I put that one in the center of the envelope. And then this one, I really like this tag. So I'm thinking about just leaving that photo floating and not tucked into an envelope. And here's where I decide to just, I really like the color of the tags and stuff. So I decide to use one of the tags as my mat and just cut the top of the tag off. and then just put the photo there. And then in order to make it stick up even further, I trim it down just a hair more. That way I can leave it sticking up out of the pocket. And then I think about putting that tag uh, behind one of the envelopes, just the top of it portion that I cut off. And I do stick it down there, but then I don't like it later. And so it does come off. And so I go ahead and I put that down for the moment. And then I go ahead and do the same thing with another one of these. I use the tag and then just cut the top of the tag off. I mean, I guess I did use tags on this um, layout, even if it doesn't look like it. So I go ahead and I just glue shut those other envelopes. And then this last photo I'm going to mount on this craft tag and I'm going to leave that one floating free. It won't be tucked in the envelope because I wanted it to be off center. I didn't want it to be like all five of them, you know, one on each corner and one in the middle kind of a thing like a dice. So I want to kind of offset that one a little bit. And I do go ahead and put it up on foam tape. So I go ahead and I pop that one there and then I want to, my title is kind of the big love or that's what your eye is drawn to. Um, so I want to put her name on it and I want to use these little, the little center cuts out of my die cuts. So this really turns into a pretty busy layout. I don't know if it's a win or a fail. I, I don't know. Um, I mean, I like the layout and I think it's cute and everything, but I'm not sure. Um, it just kind of is scattered all over the page. 
And I guess that's okay because it's different from some of my other stuff. And like I said, it's still cute and everything, but I guess it, maybe it's just not, not my style so much. I don't know. You'll have to let me, let me know if it's a win or a fail. <laughs> so I go ahead. I have that one other heart here. And then I have this, that one little tiny one that I put up by Allison and Mason. And then I also had these little enamel dot hearts. And so I go ahead and I scatter those around. I mean, I've already got so much on here. I might as well go all the way. And so I cluster a few more of those on there. And then that's where I decide to go ahead and take that tag off. And then, like I said, I kind of wanted to put her name or beef up that title at the top. So I go into my stash and I look for some pink alphabet stickers. I just wanted something small. And I find some Studio Calico stickers that are really pretty color. And I hadn't used them uh, because I didn't really like the font on them. It's kind of a strange font. Um, yeah, it's just kind of weird, but it's not bad or anything. And I thought since this was kind of just a small accent, uh, I'd go ahead and use them on here. So I'm just going to put on here Allison. It'll just be Allison Love. And then I move my enamel dot up on that. And so that's pretty much all I'm going to do except for a little bit of journaling. And I test a couple of pens until I find one that I like. And so I'm going to use this kind of pink zig writer uh, just to tell her how photogenic she is and how I just can't help but scrapbook all these, you know, little photos of her. And then that is my finished layout. So like I said, it's kind of busy and it's kind of all over the place, but it's still cute. And uh, it's something totally different from some that anything that's in my album so far. So there's the Jolie sticker and her name. And that's her and her cousin. And there's my journaling. Some more photos. There's the die cut out of the washi tape. And I really love how the envelopes turned out with that gold cut out and the washi tape and stuff on there. It really took those blank white envelopes, you know, and made them something special. And since I have 500 of them to use, uh, I better figure out ways to make them special and different. So there is my finished layout. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments or anything, uh, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. And I will talk to you later. Bye.